Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and today we're doing Prime Factor Decomposition! Say what? Let me unpack that for you. Prime numbers are something you're going to get asked about in maths every now and then. If you're not sure what a prime number is, go and watch the prime numbers video because you need to understand prime numbers before you can do this. Factors are another concept in maths that you're going to need to know about. Again, I've done another video on factors. If you're not sure what they are, go and watch that one first and then come back to here. Decomposition, well, if something decomposes, that means it gets broken down into smaller bits, the bits that kind of make it up. So what we're saying is, for any given number, we're going to try and split it up into factors which are prime. So you, you only want the factors that are prime numbers. That's what we've got to do here. Um, you might be wondering why we need to do this. It's not really terribly useful. There are admittedly some mathematicians who do use this stuff, but not many of them really. So in real life, this comes pretty low on the list of useful maths but they're definitely going to ask it in some of your maths tests, so we should cover it really. All right, so let's imagine we start with a number like um, 56, that'll do. To do a prime factor decomposition of this number, uh, we use a method called the tree method. You'll see why, because it kind of branches out and looks vaguely tree-like when you're finished. What you do is you say, um, does anything go into 56? Can I split this up into something times something else? Uh, well, in this case, 7 eighths of 56, so I can split this up into 7 times 8. So it branches out either side. Then you ask yourself, are either of these numbers prime numbers? Well, 8's even, it's divisible by 2, so that's not a prime number. But 7, nothing else goes into 7, so 7 is a prime number. And you want to stick a circle around any of the prime numbers. Then you look at 8, and ask yourself again, what times what would give me 8? I want to split this up into two things again. Well, two fours are 8, so I can split this into 2 times 4. And then ask yourself, is 2 a prime number? Yes, it is. Nothing else divides into 2. Is 4 a prime number? No. So we want to split this up again. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, so you split this into 2 times 2. Is this a prime number? Well, yes, it's exactly the same as that, so... <laughs> 2 is still prime here, and it's still prime over here. And once you've finished, once you can't branch out anymore, that's the end. So the prime factors, we say, of 56 will be 7, 2, 2, and 2. What that means is, if you start off with 56, you can rewrite that as 7 times 2, 7 times 2, times another 2, times another 2. If you multiply all those things together, you should get 56. Because essentially these are all the th things that make up all the bits of 56. We've decomposed, we've broken it up 56 into these smaller factors. They're all factors because they divide into 56 and they're all prime numbers. So that's what you're asked to do. However, what you should do, having got this, is then instead of writing 2 times 2 times 2, you should write it with powers. So 56, the proper way that you should write this and in fact, you usually start with the smallest numbers first, is going to be 2 cubed. Yeah, 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed, and then we're timesing it by 7. So that would be the answer to the question. So if you're asked to give the prime factor decomposition of 56, you have to write 2 cubed times 7. So you do your tree thing, work out what all the numbers are, and then put the smallest ones first, and the power tells you how many of them are multiplying together. So there are three twos multiplying, that's why we're cubing, we're putting a power three there. There's only one seven, so the power of the seven is, there's a kind of imaginary one there, but there's only one seven. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. I'll do one more example, but that's it really. There's not a lot more to it. You just need to be able to divide numbers in. Uh, let's try 120, how about that? Slightly bigger one this time. So what divides into 120? Hmm. Well, it's even, and for any even number, you can always divide it by 2. So let's just do that. So 2 times half of 120 would be 60. So 2 times 60 gives you 120. 2 is a prime number, so we'll put a circle around that. Now we've got to split up 60. Well, again, it's even, 
so I can just halve it. So that's going to be 2 times 30, gives me 60. That's prime again, so we'll put a circle around this one. This is not prime, so we need to split it down. Well, it's still even, so we'll do... Uh, oops, yeah, we will be circling that in a minute. I'll circle it now because it's prime. 30, uh, 2 times 15 gives you 30. And I was getting carried away there, but you circle 2 because it's prime. 15 is not prime. Uh, 3 times 5 gives you 15. So we'll split that into 3 and 5. 3 is a prime number. And actually 5 is a prime number as well. So the numbers, the prime factors that divide into 120, are 2, 2, 2, 3 and 5. So first of all, you can write it out like this. So it's going to be 2 times another 2, times another 2, times a 3, and then we times it by a 5. So again, to write it with the powers, you should always write it with the powers, don't leave it like that. Well, I've already got it in order. Fortunately, I've got the smallest numbers, the 2s, then the 3s, and then the 5s. So I just need to sort out the power. So again, I've got 2 cubed here because there are 3 2s multiplying, times by 3, and then times by 5. There's only one of each of these, so I don't need any other powers on there. So that will be my final answer. All right, so prime factor decomposition. Do your tree, keep dividing it down, and then write out the list of prime numbers and express them using powers. My name is Jonathan Hicks, and you're watching Teach Me Maths. If you're not sure what a factor is, go and watch the factors video and then come back here. What we're going to do, oh, that would be the doorbell. <laughs>